how did you put together these languages? We heard the Canadian language, we heard the pigeon, Yoruba, which I speak, because I'm okay. Hebrew, but I speak Yoruba also, English, and what else again? Igbo. Igbo also. Now, you, you heard the people laughing. Yeah. Now there's something about so, um, dubbing movies. Yeah. I prefer, from my own opinion, mm. I prefer subtitling and selling at the same time the movie and our culture. Mm. So how did you put all this together? Well, um, well, let me start by saying thank you for seeing the movie and um, for the good comments. Uh, from the beginning, it's my my aim and objective has always been to maintain and retain the African um, culture, the language, um, majorly to use my film, you know, to document and present who we are to the outside world and you know Nigeria is such a complex country where you have more than 200 dialects and um, you know every of this you know tribe have their ways of communication you know and um, I, I realize that there is this originality in you know when you maintain your you know original language in, in film in presentation and and, uh, you, you know, sometimes even when you giggle in the indigenous way, people laugh because they could feel the originality in it. So, and I said, look, this is what I'll sell, sell to the world. Um, first of all, it helps my market in Nigeria, you know, and I'm not a fan of, I, I don't even think I, I'm, I'm going to ever do a film in purely English speaking, not because the actors can not speak English, not because I don't understand English, but it's, it's just not original and it is not just who we are. You know, and this has worked for me. I've done three major uh, films and um, they're all multilingual and, um, you know, people really love them. I love it. Mm. Now, coming to the actors, mm. how did you put that? The, the cast was just wonderful. They were so good. But how did you put them together again? This is... Well, when... Anytime I have a project like the script, as I read, I imagine people. Okay. And um, also, I always give people opportunity to audition. Okay. You know, but there are some established actors that are always, you know, coming to the picture. Yes. Take, for example, um, I was going to use some local to play the roles that Prudaya played. Okay. But unfortunately, some Samloko died a week to the shoot, yeah. which was why I dedicated the film to him. Okay. You know, um, Wale Ojo was not my original cast. Okay. I was going to use someone else, okay. but I realized the other person just did another film with my lead a female actor. Okay. So I said, no, I'm not going to play them together. So Wale came around, and Wale has been acting for over 25 years in UK, but he's never done anything major okay. in Nigeria. So I gave him that chance. And um, Nse, the Mary, I casted her like over a year before the film. I never knew she was an actress. We met in Berlin and we were having drinks. She was sitting in front of me and she was laughing. And when while laughing, I'm like, okay, she has this broad smile. She's very natural. And I started picturing, you know, her in the film. Then I saw her again like six months after the same coincidence, I mean, the same scenario. And I said, look, what language do you speak? She's Calabar. Yeah. And I said, okay, I'll send you a script. Read it. If you like it, let me know. And, you know, that gave her like six months to be able to learn the few Igbos that, you know, she spoke. And it's not just Igbo. It's Oweri Igbo, which is even do. You see, I come from Oweri. Exactly. So we have to really maintain, you know, because people are saying Oweri is different. So, so, so we have to, exactly. So, so, so these are things that people pick out in film, 
you know, and I like to just pay attention to details. So that, that was how we, we pulled that. So. It was fantastic. But now, the last question, because mm. some other people mm. are waiting for you. Mm. How did you feel? How did you feel yesterday listening to the French audience laughing and enjoying your movie? That must be wonderful for a director like you. Well, I felt good. Um, you know, but it's been this has been the you know the reaction everywhere I've been even in Japan even the premiere we had in London to over 400 people you know even the cocky white audience were like you know blown away people will be laughing eating into each other and you know you feel good when you see people react to an indigenous film like that. We did a screening in Amsterdam in a, in a school community and after the film even the the people came out and said look they are wondering why this kind of film doesn't get mainstream distribution because they think this is Oscar this is you know they were and you know when people are bullshitting you when, when people are when people are Acting hypocrisy, hypocrisy, you you know, but these are real people, and you know they, they came out genuinely to express you know how they feel about all those things. So for me, it keeps you going. Yeah. You want to do more good work because you want people to you know enjoy and perceive at least what what we have to offer from from that side of the world. Uh, this question has nothing to do with what's happening in um, Paris. Yeah. Uh, are you going to the NAFCA um, uh, awards um, ceremony in September? In London? No, it's um, in North Carolina and Washington by Dr. Victor Latoye. Uh, I'm not sure. I think they sent someone was. I think someone sent me a message yesterday asking something, but really, I have not gotten any official invite to that. Oh, really? So if I don't get, then uh, I, you know. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Victor Lato is missing us something here. <laughs> I have to call him and tell him that what I've seen in Paris <laughs> is just fantastic. No, no, we're hoping to, I mean, it's, it's our thing and we have to celebrate it. So, you know, the industry, we need to help in every possible way to make it grow, to make it, you know, known to the world and uh, I mean if such opportunity comes it will be nice to share you know all, all these things with the rest of the world and then uh, what are you going to tell people at home a good number of uh, what I, re I, I regret really in this festival uh, Serge is a very good friend of mine and I'm a partner a good number of um, the stars they didn't come maybe they don't know what are you going to tell them when you get back to Nigeria? Well, we, we've had conferences and workshops and we talk and we've been talking since and I'm just a bit tired of talking and um, I just think it is the best way to get your message communi you know, communicated to the world is when you do something for people to see and then they will, whoever wants to emulate that will do so, whoever feels they have a different style will do so, but you know it is just important when they, I, I think when they read reviews and they see you know from magazines like yours and um, you know from television vision uh, then they see that look it doesn't all end in Nigeria you know a good work will take you all over the world even when you don't even pay for PR yeah. for them they will pay for they will create the PR for itself and for me it's just about doing a good work and um, that is what I will continue to do thank you very much for giving me this time no problem. have a nice day you too, sir.